Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tricks of the Trade. Today I've got one of my favorite tricks on the cutting table for you. This is a Tootsie Roll. It is a toe side front roll rotation with a counter rotation landing wrapped or passing in the air. It is a toe side front roll rotation with a backside 180 combined. It is quite a confusing trick and it it's just one of the most satisfying unhooked tricks you can do. Seconded only maybe by the back mode and the crow mode, but this is a single handle pass maneuver. is a really nice trick. It does rely on getting the timing right for the takeoff and also having a very confident toe side pop when unhooked, which is definitely something that you should work on. I'll do some independent coaching videos on just toe side pop um, coming soon. Big thanks to everybody that bought one of my t-shirts after the last video, really appreciate it. I will do some giveaways in a couple of the next videos from my online store, which you can check in the link below this video. Okay, so let's get into the Tootsie Roll. So for the Tootsie Roll, again, you want to come in with speed, but you want to switch to toe side nice and early, and although in this clip we can't see me switching to toe side, I switch to toe side hooked in, then unhook, and then set up for the pop. If you can see at the very beginning of this takeoff, I really have my elbow locked into my side so that it doesn't allow the bar to get away from me and I can keep some bend in my arms, which will give me a bit of freedom later on in the trick to extend my body. You come in with speed and toe side, lock with that elbow locked in so that the bar can't be dragged away from you. And then you do a small scoop on that toe side edge and initiate that takeoff. Much like my earlier tutorial, the toe side front roll, use that head to go through your arms and generate that front roll rotation straight off the takeoff. Your legs will follow you around this, but the drive from that rotation comes from your head, your upper body, and your shoulders. As you go into that front roll, you wanna bring those legs with you, keep them extended out behind you, and then as they follow your body up, it, you try and get them as inverted as possible. It's quite a laid out trick, so it's not strictly an invert, but you really want to, it really helps to get those legs as high as you can so that you have the momentum going forward into that backside 180. The real key importance I find with the Tootsie Roll is that apex of the trick where your legs are up they're extended you've got the board behind you but then you go into the counter rotation with your upper body leading the charge again so you have those legs extended out behind you and then you start dropping what would be your front leg in a reverse counter rotation direction opening up your shoulder again in the opposite direction it's similar, very similar to an s mob or a KGB where you've got a counter rotation from that front row and that rotation is really driven by a combination of your legs and opening up your upper body and using that shoulder from the hand that you've let go of the bar with to drive your upper body around that rotation. Your legs will follow your upper body in this and because you naturally want to land quite downwind, you're coming in with a good position to do so. You wanna keep your arm straight, you're landing in wrapped here, so you, you wanna make sure that you have your body weight vertical so that you don't catch any rails on landing. If you do catch a rail, make sure you let go of the bar so it doesn't put stress on your arms, but you wanna drop that landing gear nice and vertically into landing as you're making that handle pass behind your back to complete the full rotation and to stomp it and ride away. 